You see this motion right here? It's called flipping the golf club, rotating the club face. It's something a lot of golfers do. Today we're going to talk about what types of shot it actually causes and the frustrations, but more importantly, how can we fix it? I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And this phrase, flipping the golf club, rotating the club face, can cause a lot of frustration on the golf course. So let me show you what it looks like, and then we're going to talk about how we can actually fix it and what causes causes it. So when you're set in there, if you're hitting a lot of shots, watch this motion. Watch my body. Okay, watch my body, what I do here. That look like this, where you stand up. See I got up on my toes and the club face really rotated. That shot I completely hooked to the left. Alright, if that looks like you, this video is for you. Another thing I see when people flip the golf club is a shot that looks like this. They flip it and then they top it. All right, so when we flip the golf club, when we rotate the club face, two things happen. Number one is direction gets very difficult. One hooks, one goes to the right. The second thing is contact is really difficult because we're really rotating the club face. Typically people are standing up and the contact is just not consistent. Now, the question is, what causes that and how can I fix that? So I'm going to share with you three things that I believe might be causing that for you and of course we're going to show you how to fix it. So the first one is the club face itself in the takeaway. So when you're set up, I've got a 7 iron right here. Now a lot of golfers who I see come to my lesson to who flip the golf club, when they take the club away, the club face immediately rotates way open. Okay, looks like this. So they're right here and the club face rotates open. Now, when the club face rotates in a strong, what I would call open position or weak open position, if they don't do anything, when they come back, it's going way to the right. So the natural instinct is to rotate it way open and then try to rotate it close. Now when that club face is doing a lot of this, that's where the turn flipping comes in. Notice that? How long is that club face point at the target line? Not very long, is it, right? Okay, so if you take the club away, make sure that the club face stays nice and square. Now what would be a good reference point for you? Well, see the leading edge right here? Okay, and these are some of the concepts that I teach in my new system called the vertical line swing. We'll talk more about that later, but you see this leading edge right here. Okay, flipping. Right, we don't want that, we want it to be square. So when you set up there, when I take that club away, I want this leading edge to be at what I like to call about a 45 degree angle for my amateur golfer, especially those of you who slice it. Right, so the flipper rotates it way open. Okay, you want to feel like the club face stays square, i.e. the leading edge stays at about a 45 degree angle. So that would be the first. Let me go ahead and hit a shot and we'll talk about the second thing. So here we go. Flipper, the old, boom, rotates it open. New, what you're going to do is keep it at a 45 degree angle. Here we go. Okay, now, a little heavy on that, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to let my man Nick edit that out of there. I want him to keep that in there so you know that I don't hit every shot perfect either. But, took a little bit of a divot, ball's pretty straight. That's the other thing, I wasn't going to talk about this, but it came to my mind. People who rotate the club face a lot, they don't take much for divots. So ask yourself right now, when you're playing golf with an iron, do you take, do you take divots? Because if you're flipping the club, you're probably not taking a divot. Now there's a whole reason for that club face being open versus closed. That's a different video, we'll talk about that later. Alright, that's number one. Now, the second reason you might be flipping the golf club is the direction of the club face. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Well, here we go. We're set up here again, right? When the club face goes back, or the club head, the club head will dive inside. Okay, notice where it goes. It's here, it's diving inside. Now what happens is, is when that club head gets back and behind you, and that's kind of a, I won't say it's a popular thing right now, but this deep and get the club back and behind us is kind of a popular thing. It's specifically why I developed the vertical line swing system, because I think the club should swing more straight back and straight through, especially for older golfers, because it's easier on your body, it's easier to repeat, it's higher ball flight, all these types of stuff. But in today's traditional coaching, we're seeing a lot of getting the club head deep and behind you. So it looks like this. I'm set in here, the club head goes back and around. Okay, so when I come through, the club head's out of position, 
relative to my body, so I've got to stand up, throw it, and flip it. Okay, I see a lot of that. So what's the fix? Well, the fix is when you're set in here, when you take that club head away, we already talked about the club face, right? 45 degree angle, remember that. When you take it back, I wanna see the club head in line with your hands, see that? Or slightly on this side of it, okay? I don't wanna see it back here. If you get it back here, I'm not saying you're gonna flip it every time. Pro probably might not flip it. But if you're watching this video, you're probably not a tour pro, right? All right. If you got that club head back here for most amateurs, they're going to throw it at the bottom and flip it. So that's tip number two, get the club face there. All right, now, let's talk about the main reason why I think people flip it. And it has to do with the lead arm. And I gotta tell you this, if you haven't already, hey, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Be sure to leave a comment. I almost answer every comment. I get to them every night that I can, and we love hearing from you because a lot of the things that I'm learning and I'm hearing and we're talking about here are good things that you've shared with us. So be sure to leave a comment, be sure to subscribe, and ring the bell too so you know when we got new video coming out. All right, here we go. The last one, why are we flipping it? Lead arm, okay, and this, I am super passionate about this. If you got a bad back, if your hip hurts, you gotta pay attention, this is for you. This phrase right now, okay, that is so popular where people are saying, hey, take your lead arm and get it wrapped and back and low and around your body like this. Get the club deep in your hands behind you. Okay, it's really popular. But what happens for the amateur golfer is when the club gets way back here and their arms are back and behind them, they don't have the ability like a tour pro to really rotate and open up. Okay, what happens is the club gets back here, their body stops rotating, they don't have any flexibility in their hip, and then they just throw it. So it looks like this. Club's back here, and they just throw their arms down there. You can see the flip, all right? Now, a tour pro, I'm not gonna, hey, a tour pro, they can get it over there, right? Okay, and then they can really, boom, rotate and open up and hit a lot of good golf shots. So I'm not saying it's bad information, I'm just saying that's probably not good information for you, the average golfer. What I like to see, what I would tell you to do, if you're flipping it, is get the lead arm to work more straight back and more up, i.e. vertical. All right, so here we go. This would be the old, back in there. Here's your new, right here. Notice the lead arm. I'm gonna just swing it straight back and up. All right, by far my most solid shot there today. No flip on that one, no flip. Now, so when you head to the golf course, if you're flipping it, Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get set in there, right? You're gonna keep the club face square, 45 degree angle. You're gonna get the club head a little bit outside your hands or in line with your hands, and you're gonna swing your lead arm straight back and up, just like this. Okay, I mean, it's almost so easy, it's ridiculous. Like I said, we call it the vertical line swing. So if you're flipping the club, the club face is out of position, the club face might be open, your arm's in a bad spot. These tips here will help you improve your contact, improve your direction, and more importantly, help you enjoy your days on the golf course.